Hello, this is Pastor Stephen Anderson from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Today I want to talk about Zechariah 2, verses 7 and 8, where the Bible reads, Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. And a lot of people who fail to rightly divide the word of truth, they'll quote Old Testament scriptures like this and try to apply them to the current modern day Christ rejecting nation of Israel or to modern day so-called Jews and say they are the apple of God's eye. If you touch them, you're touching the apple of God's eye and God's going to punish you. You need to seek their good and so forth. Now, of course, like I said, these people are just stuck under the old covenant. They don't realize that the kingdom of God was taken from them and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof, and that the Jews are no longer God's chosen people. But what's interesting about this is that the teaching that applies this Old Testament scripture from Zechariah 2, 7 and 8, unto modern-day Jews doesn't come from the New Testament. It actually comes from the Talmud, and I'm going to show you that in a moment. But first of all, let me just show you the context. It says in verse 7, Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. So this is being spoken while Jews are in Babylon, in the Babylonian captivity. And he's talking about the fact that when Babylon had attacked them and, and taken them into captivity and people are continuing to treat them poorly, that they're touching the apple of God's eye. That's back when the Jews were still God's chosen people because it's back in the Old Testament. Okay, well, what, you know, we're in the New Testament now. This scripture is not relevant to a Christ-rejecting nation that is no longer God's chosen people. They're not the apple of his eye. We as believers, we as Christians are the apple of his eye. But here's what's creepy about this. You'll hear this verse all the time and you'll hear Zionist Christians all the time to, oh, they're the apple of God's eye, apple of God's eye, apple of God's eye. Listen to this. This is from the Talmud, and this is where Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is being boiled in hot excrement as a punishment for mocking the words of the, of the rabbis. Um, of course, the Talmud's a blasphemous book that would even say such things about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But in the Talmud, as Jesus is being punished in boiling excrement, this is what Jesus says in the Talmud of Israel. Seek their welfare, seek not their harm. Whoever touches them is as though he touches the apple of God's eye. Then someone asks, you know, what is your punishment? And Jesus says, with boiling excrement. For the master hath said, whoever mocks the words of the sages is punished with boiling excrement. So basically, this fake story in the Talmud of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in hell being punished in boiling excrement for all eternity. He's the one who's telling you, O oh modern day Christian, that if we touch the nation of Israel, we're touching the apple of God's eye. See, the Bible said that about Old Testament Israel that was captive in Babylon, back when they still worshiped the true God, back before they rejected our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's the Talmud and in fact, it's one of the most blasphemous sections of the Talmud where a fake Jesus is telling you to, uh, to, to treat, to do them no harm, seek their good because, you know, they're the apple of God's eye. So next time you hear a Christian Zionist saying, you know, well, the nation of Israel over there in the Middle East is the apple of God's eye, just remember that they're actually quoting the satanic Talmud that blasphemes the Lord Jesus Christ. They're not quoting Zechariah chapter 2 because Zechariah 2 was about an Old Testament nation that still worshiped the Lord. It's the Talmud that would apply that statement to modern day Israel in the New Testament after they've already been rejected as God's people.